Take pride in your work, I always say. Buying and selling! I must finish this. Fortune favor you, my friend. An excellent selection. Your rewards are ready. These gems can be traded for special rewards in the store. My compliments. You already had that, so you got gems instead. Very nice. Will you try again? This could be your lucky day. Make a selection to reveal your rewards. Ah. Ah. Fakruti sees that you are ready to play. Excellent! Solid pick. This one recommends that you purchase a crate from the store. Summoning Sadal, we'd all be dead. <laughs> I heard the Allborn 
have spies in the city. Maybe that's what all the fuss is about. I know you. You were in the sewers, right? You saved me, didn't you? I don't remember much, but I remember you. I came to Mournhold a few weeks ago, to visit some friends. I guess word got out that a Telvani was in the city, because I suddenly found myself tied up in the sewers. The Moorborn. They kept badgering me about Daedric magic. Are you really so naive? House Telvani rejected membership in the Ebonheart Pact. We remain isolated, pursuing our own interests along the Telvani coast. That's just one of the reasons the other houses distrust us. Members of House Telvani are known for their knowledge of all types of magic. I guess they assumed I could make the old wards active again. I did what they wanted, eventually. It was either that or... I don't want to think about it. I don't care what you believe, but I never heard of the Morborn before I came to this vile city. And I certainly had no intention of betraying the Tribunal before they threatened me. I only know what I heard. I think they were planning an attack of some sort. They sent off a large group just before you showed up. I told all of this to the Sacred Lady. She said you would visit me and I should tell you to find an Ordinator. Gods have abandoned me. The Order thanks you for your assistance, Adept. There may be more relics you can recover for us soon enough. Check with me tomorrow. I may have something for you. One of the Mad God's rituals to summon Daedra requires a ceremonial cheese knife. To our chagrin, we recently learned this is a specific relic. The Order tracked one to the Forgotten Crypts in Deshaan. Recover it before it draws the attention of the Temple in Mournhold. I have a great many stays to choose from. Summon powerful magics with a flick of the wrist.
just in time. The Sacred Lady asked us to watch for you. Indeed. The Sacred Lady wants you to know that she wasn't able to eliminate all of the pests you found in the sewers. So Amalexia believes. I was told to convey upon you the gratitude of the Tribunal, and to inform you that the Sacred Lady still has need of your services. And one more thing. The Sacred Lady wishes to speak with you. Personally, she awaits your presence. Please, head to the temple at once. The Sacred Lady doesn't share all her secrets with those who serve her, but as far as I know, no attack has yet occurred within the confines of the city. We've been ordered not to discuss the entirety of the situation in public. To prevent panic, you understand. The Lady summons you. Go. Some of my own children have betrayed me. I am rarely an angry god, but this time there shall be a reckoning. Rage consumes me. The moorborn invade my home, they attack my children, they attack me. You have proven yourself loyal and capable. I call upon you to serve me once more. You shall hear, though you shall never speak of it. This enemy uses guile and subterfuge. I need time to understand the threat they pose. My divine defenses have been breached and the temple has been invaded. I cannot be seen to fail. Appearances are everything. They feed opinion and belief, and such matters are important to me. But enough questions. Save the temple and you will be renowned among mortals and favored by gods. The Moorborn penetrated the temple and opened a portal into oblivion. Even now, Daedra swarm within its hallowed halls. Such sacrilege must not stand. Banish the Daedra that defile our temple. Defeat them, and then make your way to my altar. While you slay their minions, I shall determine what the Moorborn are really up to. Now go, and carry my divine rage with you.
I sense the temple is free of the Daedric incursion. We are well pleased. While you fought for my glory, I learned more about our foes. Magistrix Vox used Daedric magic to split the seams of the wards around the High Chapel. Then she opened an Oblivion Gate to fill the temple with Daedra. You need to get into the High Chapel. Vox managed to bypass the defenses, but its wards are still in place, drawing on the full power of the Tribunal. We must get you past those walls. Vox seeks to desecrate the temple, steal our holy artifacts, and then loose Daedra upon Mournhold. If she succeeds, a great many of my children will die, and my people may lose confidence in the Tribunal. That would be catastrophic. You need to get into the High Chapel. Vox managed to bypass the defenses, but its wards are still in. Without the blessing of each of the three, no mortal may pass through the wards and enter the High Chapel. You have more than proven yourself to me. You have my blessing already. You would compound the sacrilege that has already been wrought upon our temple? No, that is unacceptable. If you will aid us, you will do it with our blessings, or not at all. Go to the cloisters of Vivek and Sothasil. My companion gods are absent, but they left trials I can activate to grant their blessings. Pass the trials, and you will be blessed.
Vivek's trial will measure your clarity of judgment. He saw our blessed people through vexing times. His wisdom reveals the secrets others keep. So shall yours be put to the test. Vivek's teachings often take the form of allegories and tales. His lessons are learned by listening and then acting. His challenge exemplifies that approach. You must listen, then act. A temple worker named Varman dueled Belron and Telvani, slaying him before witnesses. But Varman was a loyal spy. To incite such discord was against his nature. As Vivek did, speak with Varman. Determine who truly slew the Telvani. My lord Vivek, I bear the most grievous news. Belrun and Telvani challenged me to a duel of blood. I regret to say, I won. It was a small cut upon the arm, enough to settle the matter, but he fell dead. I was advising Tolnus and Galtzer when the others arrived, Belronan full of anger, Fenila a sneer on her lips, and Morami resigned to what came next. Belronan claimed I'd interfered in his affairs. He insisted I knew what he meant. Of course not. I told him so, but he claimed it a lie and challenged me to a first blood duel. Then everything turned to death. My blade ended his life and directly caused his turmoil. I willingly submit to your judgment, Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his challenge. He would still live if not for Fenila. She stoked the Telvani's rage, urging him not to back away from an insult to his honor. She called herself his friend. Curious way to show it. Fenila lent Belronin her blade before the duel. I insisted Vaman and Belronin swap weapons. You would think she was Ash Mountain the way she fumed. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but assured me its contents were vile. One sworn to the temple, quibbling over coin? You should kill him yourself, my lord. Vanilla's words are incorrect, Lord Vivek, though she clearly believes them. I haven't contacted Balronin for months, and would never have done so without your direction. Wealth has no meaning next to serving you, my lord. This you know to be true. Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Though my blow caused Balronin's death, it was set in motion by another hand. I will aid you in discovering the source of this duel, if you will it.
A tragedy, Lord Vivek. Belronin's death in the temple brings great shame to his house. I had thought reasoned words could dissuade him from the duel. Such temper is common to House Telvanni, but it's not my place to question their reliability. Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but assured me its contents were vile. Once sworn to the temple, Morami sold me poison yesterday. I'd planned to hunt cliff races next week, but decided this was a better way to get rid of vermin, so I poisoned the blade. Belronin should never have traded weapons. Worse, he should never have lost to Varman. My lord, the life of one such as Varman bears no comparison to Belronin Telvani. Yes, I sought to root corruption from the temple by poisoning that pile of scrib jelly. I'd do it again. You walked in our skin and wrought our judgment. You exposed the lie at the core of all truth. This may be lost on you. It does not matter. We are echoes of Vivek. Nothing more, all things less. We recall the wisdom of his judgment, which differed from your own. You could not know. You are not. Vivek. Both. Neither. We rewarded Fenila for her cunning, yet House Redoran suffered for poisoning a Telvani in another's duel. We flayed Morami for her actions, yet elevated House Hlalu for its actions in exposing a heretic. Can you accept this truth? Wisdom and judgment. You have earned Vivek's favor. Receive our blessing.